Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Now, if you saw the last video, you will have seen my little boo-boo. If you missed it, I will link the video here in a card. I wanted to create a stunning crystal clear resin piece using an ammonite inlay as a trinket dish style thing. Unfortunately, I kind of did it wrong and the ammonite silicon inlay well and truly floated and got stuck in the resin there was absolutely no way of getting it out so i am starting again i need to get this done because i have it in my head and i really want it to be a success this mold i will link below it is from stamperia it is a stamperia maxi mold i actually found them on amazon after talking to you guys in my last video and just said like I can no longer get them from I Love Mixed Media as she's closed. And then I've literally found them on Amazon. They are right there. So I have linked them below. I did another silicon pour in a beautiful bright yellow because how gorgeous is this color? I did add a few more though. I did that gorgeous round emblem, like the seahorse emblem. I also did the starfish as well. And of course, the giant inlay that we lost in the last video. How gorgeous is this color, guys? I figured as well, we're using a blue mold and the yellow against the blue is just going to be stunning. Now, again, in the last video, you would have seen me use these for the very first time. They are game changing. I'm the last to the party. I know people have been using them since 1910, but these are cuticle cutters and they work perfectly for your silicon. So if you overspill on a silicon mold or if you just need to trim edges on an inlay or just trim edges on a silicon mold, they are perfect. I cannot tell you what a game changer. I did pour the starfish, but I'm not, I'm not gonna lie guys. I'm not really feeling it as a starfish. It just because I think I've used yellow, it reminds me of corn on the cob. Is anyone else getting corn on the cob vibes? Okay, we're gonna do this properly. Now, if you saw the last video, if you watched the whole video, you would have heard me say, it needs a thin layer. It needs an initial really thin, maybe three to four mils of resin just to grip the inlay, hold the inlay in place before we then fill it up. Allow that first layer to semi-cure or fully cure before filling it all the way to the top. And yeah, it's just gonna hold it before we fill it. I did mention it in the last video, but I think a few people don't watch the whole thing. So a lot of you suggested I do that as well. So thank you so, so much. That's what we're gonna do today. I do need to talk about these guys. These are hands down the best night trial gloves I have laid my hands on. These are the Aurelia and they're called Bold Night Trial. Now, I just had my nails done. My nail tech came around to my house. We sat in the kitchen and I took one look at her gloves and I was like, oh my gosh, your gloves are seriously like industrial looking. And she said, they're the best. Like they are the best gloves as a nail tech that she has found on the market. And I said, please send me the link. They are thick, they are textured. And I've already used a pair of these like two, three times easily. They clean, they are solid. And honestly, I'm yanking at it and it is solid as a rock. Like this one here, this was the vinyl glove that I just recently bought they were ripping on me like you wouldn't believe even the thinner real thin night trial anyway claire enough about the gloves but guys get these gloves they are next level unreal for resin i have to tell you and easy to clean okay back to the video <laughs> i'm giving the inlay a super squishy squish down just to make sure it is fully in contact with the mold the mold i am using is the deep one inch or one point something inch round from Moulds and Shapes. Again, Moulds and Shapes will be linked below. The um, mold for the ammonite will be also linked below. The resin I'm using is the Apex resin from Just View Online in this video. I think I used the Let's Resin last time, but they're both equally as stunningly crystal clear. So either or, I'm giving it a super good blast with my heat gun just to diminish any bubbles. Now, this is an optional step. I, I was confident the inlay would not rise up. There's barely any resin in there holding it, but I figured, hey, we'll just hold it down with a bottle. And that's what I did. Now, this is the next day. I took these gloves off yesterday, put them back on with ease. Now, any other glove that I've used, I know this video isn't about gloves, guys. <laughs> I know it's not about gloves, 
but I need, um, what is the word the kids use nowadays? Gatekeep, I don't want to gatekeep the information. Um, yeah, I could take them off and put them back on so, so easily. Usually I'm like, by the time I'm done, my hands are all sticky and sweaty inside. And anyway, back to the video. I promise I won't mention the gloves again. I just, I just needed you to know. I'm pouring the next layer of resin. This is going to completely fill up this mold from Molds and Shapes and fingers crossed, honestly, I was hoping for the best. The inlay did of course stay put. Again, I did have weight on it. I just used a pigment, a uh, Vista, a uh, liquid pigment bottle. It was pretty full and heavy and it sat directly on top of that ammonite really, really happily and just held it in place. Again, I don't, think I needed to do that but I didn't want to mess up again I needed this to work and I needed it to stay in place I have fully filled up the mold and I'm just going over the surface with my long neck lighter the next step is crucial it is crucial this step this is not optional when resin meets resin especially resin meeting fully cured resin this was fully cured I left it overnight not ideal but um, not ideal because we could sometimes see a line, but when resin meets resin, it sometimes doesn't 100% go together. So you have to really make sure that there's no air pockets around those edges. So I really went in with my micro brush tool. I went in and around all of the edge of the mold where the resin met the resin and also in and around all of that ammonite. There's so much detail on that ammonite. I didn't want to risk any micro bubbles or pockets in there at all whatsoever because again, how many times can you do this Claire and mess up? I really wanted this to be it. So 24 hours later, I was just happy guys. I walked into the craft room. I was like, this is it. This is it. It has worked. The resin looks crystal clear, although there are a few micro bubbles in there. You can diminish that by putting your resin in a hot bath, but it was so hot in my craft room, I didn't think I needed to. So yeah, there are a few micro bubbles, but guys, it is looking absolutely beautiful. But the second that inlay comes out, it is a wow from me. This is what I wanted. This is what I was going for. Technically, yes, this is an easy project. I know some of you are probably thinking, is that it, Claire? Is that all you're going to do? Yes, guys. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Because this is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted this, although I have to say you can see some oily, smudgy fingerprints on there now because I probably should have used gloves. Not ideal. But it is perfect. It is the most stunningly beautiful finish I ever could have asked for bar the micro bubbles but shh, we won't talk about that even with the blue background it looks simply divine the ammonite the whole shape of it just leaves so much shading and detail but also there's a little bit of debris in there someone tell me how debris got into that very first layer of resin and I had it covered up, I was doing all of the things, but hey, is it even a Claire's Crafty Corner video if something somewhere doesn't go wrong? Honestly, I think I'd feel a little bit unnerved if everything went perfectly right now, but this is what it is looking like. Turning it over was a stop it now, wow. Like this is ideally going to be a trinket dish. So the actual ammonite inlay is going to be where you put your earrings, your necklace, your rings, things like that. But turning it over so you get the other side is just as stunning. Now this is a piece of art. This could sit on a little shelf quite happily and look beautiful. I brought it out into the sun to show you guys what it is looking like. It does look a bit smudgy, but that is genuinely, that is genuinely just my hands. Now, obviously I've got oil on my skin naturally and it has just smudged the surface, but we can, we could just pretend it's not there. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It came out exactly like I wanted to. This was the vision I had in my mind when I filmed the last video and I'm so glad I tried it again, went again because wow. Honestly, I love, 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 love. It does need a bit of a polish. But as for the micro bubbles, you can kind of see them in there, but I'd really have to like ultra zoom 
in with my camera to show you those and it's just it's not worth it we'll just pretend they're not there instead but how stunning is this both sides so this trinket area here where you'd put your jewelry and then turn it around and you've got a stunning wall art piece or shelf piece i think it would look even better with nothing behind it i don't think you want to hide that I think it just needs to be seen in all of its glory. But guys, this has honestly given me so much inspiration. I am desperate now to try another technique, which hopefully will be the next video because I don't want to take too many gaps and that I know I'll never come back to things. Um, if you've been with me a while, you'll know that. Sometimes I say, oh, I want to try this, I want to try this. And I, ne I literally don't do it until six months later. But yes, I hope you feel inspired to give it a go. Like I said, this is probably one of the easier pieces you can do with resin, but I think sometimes it's worth Worth going out of your way to try and make a crystal clear piece something I never do at least I think I've tried once or twice but this was totally worth it it is beautiful thank you so much if you are still here it is a shorter video but how could I make it longer I will see you all in the next one bye